We did not have the choice to choose who our parents were. But we can choose who our mentors are. Listen in. Welcome to my journey of self-discovery, life balance, career success, and business creation. This podcast works to answer the question of how successful professionals like us stop drifting and get focused on keeping our careers and businesses growing rapidly while having a full, balanced, and vibrant life that we absolutely love. What we call the Third Power Life. And this is the Third Power Life Podcast. Yesterday, I talked about who's in your circle and, you know, who are the people that are influencing you. And, you know, there's a common phrase that's out there that you will earn and be like the five people that you hang around most, which I found to be fairly accurate, actually. You know, the 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 people that you surround yourself with are who you're going to emulate, who you're going to become in, in many ways. But what happens if you don't have the kind of people that you want to be available to you easily to be in your inner circle? You can actually choose your mentors. You can choose to have ultra successful people guide you through the challenges of life, show you how they've done what they've done and give it to you freely and easily. It's not that hard. In 1989, I joined Amway. It was a multi-level marketing company, and I was 18, 19 years old. Didn't really know what I was doing in business, and honestly, I I never made any money at it. You know, it's a great business. I, I absolutely. I think they're they're phenomenal in what they do. Um, I never followed the system and did what I needed to do. However, the one thing that I did that I, I actually credit Amway with my personal success in life and my being who I am in life because when I joined, they had a book of the month and a tape of the week. It was audio cassettes, so it was a long time ago. And so every month I had signed up. I got actually two tapes every week, two audio programs. One was specific to the business and the other was self-improvement. It was Zig Ziglar. It was Jim Rohn. <laughs> you know, it was Og Mandino. Yeah, so I took, I had read these books, you know, Og Mandino books. Amazing, Right reading, you know, Think and Grow Rich, How to Win Friends and Influence People, these amazing books that these successful people had figured out and put into words and listening to to programs by Jim Rohn, by Anthony Robbins, by, you know, Zig Ziglar and, you know, on and on. These people that were the motivational speakers and self-improvement world, these were my mentors. These were the people that helped guide me with my thinking, who helped mold the way that I processed the world, gave me wisdom beyond what a normal 19-year-old would have. I honestly wish that I had listened to more of them (laughs) because I made mistakes in my 20s and 30s. Okay, let's be honest. And 40s, and probably some of my 50s here too. But um, but but learning from those people, they were my mentors. You know, growing up in Dunellen, Florida, or Ocala, Florida, there were not a huge number of people in my inner circle that I could look to that were that were successful in the world, right? You know. My family is wonderful. I love them. If you're watching, I love you. Um, but in the business world, in the, you know, all of these different things, there were some, there were some good role models and there were some bad role models and all of that. But to have that spectacular, amazing, fulfilling life, 
I needed more people to be my mentor. And the way that I did that was by audio programs and video programs. And, you know, you, you are, we're so fortunate to be living in the time that we are, you know, I can pull up on YouTube, you know, motivational videos for whatever, and just hundreds or millions of, of hits and get people to, to help me with the problems that I'm going through. And what I want to get through to you is that you get to choose who your mentors are. When you're first starting, it's you, you listen to the audio program, you listen to the podcast, you listen to the YouTube video, right? And, you know, I get to be your mentor from a distance. And Tony Robbins gets to be your mentor from a distance. Dean Graciosi gets to be your mentor from a distance. On and on and on. You find people that resonate with you like that inner circle that I've talked about in my last podcast, you find those people that have what you want to be and you model what they do and you listen to their wisdom. Later on in life, you can actually start, you know, getting coaches and people that have been there to work with you individually, but start where you are. You know, I have people that pay me lots of money to be their coach and to help them through the challenges of life and being a professional that's got a career and wanting to start a business and yet not lose their family in the pro Sure. But the reality of it is, is you can listen to the podcast. You can get a lot of the th same things that I'm telling them delivered to you. So don't let money, don't let your network, don't let your whatever the limitation is stop you from having an inner circle that is second to none. Get the programs by Tony Robbins. Get, you know, join the programs from Dean Graciosi or myself or whoever. There are, all, there are so many people out there that have amazing wisdom. Don't limit yourself to the just the people you know. In the, in today's world, the world is a really tiny place. You know, through the internet, we can connect with people overseas. We can connect to people from the past. We can connect all over. So don't limit yourself. Find people that resonate with you and connect with them. I want to connect with you because if you're listening to this, if you've gotten to this point in the podcast, you're like one of those people that actually listens. So I want to connect with you. I want to build that group. I want to help you achieve what you want in your life. And no, not for money, right? You know, at some point, maybe there's a place where I can help you and get paid for it so that you pay attention. But the reality of it is I don't... I, I don't need the money. I don't care about the money. I want you to have success. So find your mentors. Don't be limited by who's in your neighborhood or who's in your city. We have, we live in a global world. You know, the interwebs connect us all, right? So reach out, find people. If I can help you, I am all about helping you. Whether, you, <clears throat> whether you're in one of my programs or not, I want to help. I want to help you grow and be better. I want to make the world a better place. And part of that is by having people help me make the world a better place. That means you. But I want us all to grow. I want us all. And you know, I still have my mentors. I still listen to Tony Robbins. I still listen to Dean Graciosi. I still listen to Russell Brunson. I listen to you know, all of these different people. That's what we're here for is to grow and to be better. So I want to help you be better. Just like I want to be better myself. So select your mentor, find your circle. Even if at first it's all virtual. And that's how you truly take yourself and live your life to the third power. Until next time, my friends. I'm glad you enjoyed this podcast. Please let us know what impacted you in today's episode. 
You can join our Discord or Facebook community to connect with like-minded people that want a real Third Power life. You can go to thirdpowerlife.com or look in the show notes for links. And remember, hit that like, subscribe, and rate button for the Third Power Life podcast. Until next time.